everyone it is Kylie here I wanted to pop on for our Friday live with Kylie and um, today um, we are going to talk about lovies and why lovies are great and why I love them and also how to introduce them so a lovey is basically a comfort toy it also could be called a transition toy um, and essentially it is anything it could be anything it could be like a small stuffed animal um, I should have brought my my children's loveys but literally they have like a little animal head and then like a little blanket that's attached to it it could be a security blanket type thing which is like a smaller blanket that children just like to cuddle up and curl with I've had mamas tell me that um, it's like one of their old t-shirts that their child has really just like attached to and wants to have all the time. And so it really could be anything. Um, I found the little stuffed animals with the little head and then the, the blanket much, much easier actually and more kind of comforting to hold and to snuggle with for my children rather than just like a bigger stuffed animal because it's not as cuddly. Um, but it's totally up to you. So if you have been given um, a special toy for your baby by somebody and there is some meaning and memento behind it, go ahead and use that. Otherwise, um, I really love the um, angel deer loveys. They've got all sorts of different animals. And I also like the Aiden and Anais um, loveys. And so um, you want to find one that is soft and that, you know, I find children really like to just like play with it and they like to chew on it and they like to snuggle with it and they just like to hold and cuddle it. And the reason behind a lovey is really that this is going to become like your child's friend. And this is going to be a, a comfort tool that they can use to help them self-regulate, to help them calm, to help them feel like they are safe and supported. All right. And so, basically helping them realize that they have like a little friend. And so I really love to use the loveys in a lot of different kind of ways. Um, so you can have them for sleeping at nap time, for sleeping at bedtime. I also really love to use these kinds of loveys or comfort tools or transition toys during times of transition. For example, if your child has a difficult time, for example, being in the car, um, so having the lovey there with them in the car ride, in the car seat, can be a great tool to have. If your child is going to daycare for the first time and they're not used to that yet and it's, you know, that transition few weeks, having the lovey with them at daycare is a great way to feel calm and safe and secure even when you're not there. Um, and then also whenever they're upset during the day just bringing that lovey in so that they know that their little friend is there to help them. And it can be a really nice way to provide that comfort, to provide that feeling of safety, to provide that feeling of like, oh, all is right in the world. I'm calm. I have my little friend here and he's helping me to calm down. All right. And so this doesn't happen overnight. Okay. So you can't just introduce a lovey and then expect your child to just attach to it like that. Like with any other attachment, it takes time to build the attachment, to build the trust, to build that feeling of safety, to build that feeling of comfort. And so um, it really sometimes does take a few months of having this lovey literally around all the time. And I introduced both to both my children, I introduced loveys at around that four or five ish month mark. Um, and when they're that little, the expectation is not that they're going to hold on to it and start snuggling with it, but the lovey was around. And so the lovey was something that while I was nursing, I would have the lovey with them so that it started to smell like me. It started to smell like the milk, which can also be very calming and very soothing for babies and very regulating and organizing. Um, we also did like anytime they were kind of upset, I would just get the lovey. Like I kind of always had it around or on me. I would get the lovey and I would say, it's okay, you know, um, your, your little monkey, my, my son has a monkey, my daughter has like a little deer, your little monkey is here to help you. Um, and so 
that is sort of the way that you start to build the attachment to the lovey. As they get to be older and they start to be able to like hold on and grab that lovey, um, and even around that five, six month mark when they've already been, you know, rolling consistently and you are confident that they're strong in that tummy time, you can feel free to put that lovey into their sleep space um, so that during naps, but also during bedtime. And I know that the safe sleep guidelines say that you shouldn't have anything in the crib until like two years of age. And the thing with the lovey is that this is this is okay. This is not going to lead to an increased risk of SIDS. The lovey is meant to be a small toy or a small little blanket. They're not going to be, um, you know, strangling themselves with it. They're not going to be not able to move it away from their fa from their face. And to be honest, both of my kids at like five months of age loved the lovey, and they like to put it right on top of their their eyes and their face. Um, and that was just something that they really enjoyed doing. And, you know, the first few times I was like, oh, are, can they breathe? Is that okay? What's going on? And so I was watching and monitoring them a little bit more. Um, but it definitely, that's just what they preferred. That's the way that they were snuggling up to it. And that's what they found comfort in. So you want to make sure, obviously, that it's small. So like if your child does choose sort of a security blanket of sorts, you want to make sure that it's not too big because then you do want to be a little bit more careful about having that in the crib or their sleep space, um, obviously for SIDS reasons. Um, but in terms of introducing the levy and building that attachment to the levy, like literally have it on hand. So every time my children, when I was nursing them, they would have that levy. When I put them down for a nap, that levy would, that levy would be in their crib with them as well. And it was um, not necessarily that they were actually slug snuggling with it initially, even for, for many, 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 many months initially. But it was just always there. It was just a very consistent, it's all about consistency. It was a consistent toy that I basically chose for them that I would have around them. So anytime we were nursing, anytime they were sleeping, anytime we went on any car trips, that lovey was also always in my diaper bag just in case there was ever any time of upset out of the house that lovey would come out and they would hold on to it or if we had to transition from somewhere so let's say we were you know going to the park to play and then it was time to go home that lovey came out of the diaper bag into the stroller so they could hold that lovey and it would help them to transition um, out of the park so really kind of considering it to be another really important tool in your motherhood kind of journey in your toolbox of tricks and using it consistently. This is the key to introducing a lovey is to use it consistently and don't make assumptions that your child doesn't like it. They might initially look at it, they might not do anything with it, they might look at it, they might throw it. Um, it's going to take many months of consistent use for them to build up that kind of um, attachment to it, okay? And you want it to be the same toy over and over and over and over because when things are familiar, when they're predictable and um, they become more and kind of when they're routine, so when we're consistently using them, that signals to our brain that this is safe, that this is okay, that this is something that will help us, okay? Versus when things are new, unpredictable and unfamiliar, that signals to our brain that this is unsafe potentially. And so there's a little bit of fear and that fight or flight response, that stress response that gets activated. So I really want you to think about the fact that you're essentially, when your baby is little, you are the one that is choosing that lovey. I also 100% recommend that you have two of the same toy that you're choosing for a lovey. One that can be in the wash and one that can be with your child. And unfortunately, my children are now older, so they have found both of them, so they like to snuggle with both of them. Um, but it's always really helpful to have two just in case one gets lost um, and, and or when it needs to be in the wash, then your child still has their friend around, okay? And we have definitely lost <laughs> many loveys, and this is why I love the Aiden and Anise or the um, angel deer ones, because you can literally buy like four of the exact same. You can have them um, embroidered with your child's name on them. Like it becomes a really special little toy. 
And so consistency is key. Um, offer it all the time, like literally have it around all the time. And it will take time for your child to attach to it. So it's not going to just be a few days. It's not even maybe going to be a few weeks. And it's also going to depend on how old your child is. So for my children, like I introduced it at around four or five months, but they didn't actually become like attached to it until closer to a year. Um, I mean, they would hold it every now and then, but it wasn't something that they were always seeking and looking for until closer to a year. And now, I mean, my son, who is almost five, he still needs his um, little monkeys to sleep. He doesn't need them so much anymore during transitions, but 100% it'll be with him um, in his school backpack. Uh, that's just, he likes to know that it's there. And my daughter, who is two and a half, really does still go for that and go towards that lovey and search for it when she's upset. And she knows that it will help to calm her and to help her get organized. And then of course, cuddles and, and hugs with mama too. Um, but it is something that she has now and continues to use. Um, so I hope that that helped you guys a little bit with understanding the purpose of the love of the lovey and also how to introduce it. If you have any questions, please, please, please just post them below or please reach out to, to me as well, either through Facebook message or you can email me at Kylie at KylieEtz.com. You can post um, on my Instagram, DM me on Instagram or Facebook and uh, just let me know if you have any questions. If you need some troubleshooting ideas, if you've tried to introduce a lovey and it hasn't worked before, because I do hear that a lot. I do hear that moms are like, oh yeah, I tried the lovey and like my kids don't like it. Um, but I, I urge you to think, how long did you try it for? Were you consistent with its use? And did you use the same lovey? Or was it like, oh, today we're doing the monkey, tomorrow we're doing the, uh, the, the dinosaur, uh, two days ago it was the dragon, or whatever. Um, so you want to just start to think about those things as well. But I'm happy to troubleshoot um, if you have any questions. So that is it for today's live and I will see you guys next week. Bye for now.